we celebrate Congressman Barbara Jordan. And before we begin, let's look at this that we prepared on Barbara Jordan. Barbara Jordan accomplished many firsts. First African American to serve in the Texas State Senate since Reconstruction. First African American woman elected to the United States Congress from the South. First African American woman to deliver the keynote address at the Democratic National Convention in 1976. Even in death, Barbara Jordan is the first African American woman buried in the Texas State Cemetery. It was 144 years ago that members of the Democratic Party first met in convention to select a presidential candidate. Since that time, Democrats have continued to convene once every four years and draft a party platform and nominate a presidential candidate. And our meeting this week is a continuation of that tradition. But there is something different about tonight. There is something special about tonight. What is different? What is special? I, Barbara Jordan, am a keynote speaker. Barbara Jordan, Barbara Jordan was iconic. I remember in middle school watching that speech at the National Democratic Convention uh, in 1976 and thinking I had never seen anything like that before. Uh, Barbara Jordan uh, uh, accomplished a lot. And as we uh, salute our road to Stonewall gay icons, uh, we're going to tell you a little about uh, our icon, Barbara Jordan, and I'll tell you about some of the things that Barbara Jordan said. And we'll begin with power. Uh, well, Barbara Jordan's, one of her accomplishments was uh, her 1976 Democratic National Convention keynote address uh, that we just uh, talked about was the first major keynote speech made by not only a woman, but by an African American. It was listed as number five in American Rhetoric's top 100 speeches of all time of the 25th, uh, 25th uh, century. Um, now, Barbara Jordan said, we believe in equality for all and privileges for none. This is a belief that each American, regardless of background, has equal standing in the public forum, all of us. Because we believe this idea so firmly, we are an inclusive rather than an exclusive party. Let everybody come. Lovely. Aaron. So in her 1974 opening speech during the impeachment hearings against Richard Nixon, uh, which was considered one of the best speeches of the 20th century. She defended the checks and balances system, uh, which was set to inhibit politicians from abusing their power. And she protested that the Watergate scandal would forever ruin the trust of American citizens for their government. Her powerful statement earned Jordan national praise for her rhetoric, morals, and wisdom. And if only she were around to read that speech today. Um, Barbara Jordan said, more is required of public officials than slogans and handshakes and press releases. More is required. We must hold ourselves strictly accountable. We must provide the people with a vision of the future. Nice. Carlos. I knew that by the time you got to me, the speeches were covered. <laughs> so I thought I would point out that I, Bill Clinton consider her for a Supreme Court appointment. And that there were also talks of her running for vice president. So being a black woman, well, being a woman, then being a black woman, then being a lesbian, for those days, that was huge. Um, so Barbara Jordan said, it was immigration that taught us, it doesn't matter where you come from, who your parents are, what counts is who you are. Justicia para todos. Isn't it interesting? Um, when we were at the host meeting and you read that Barbara Jordan quote, I thought, 
Well, is that amazing? Because that could have been said on February 14, 2019, mm. not in 1975, which mm. is when that quote said. Uh, Josie. So Barbara Jordan, we really need her now. Uh, she actually led the conversation on immigration through a bipartisan commission that's unofficially known as the uh, Jordan Commission. Um, Barbara Jordan said, we as human beings must be willing to accept people who are different from ourselves. And Joe. Um, I, Barbara Jordan graduated from Texas Southern University in 1956. In Texas, if you can only imagine what it took for an African American, an African -American woman to get to college, to graduate college, and then go on to Boston University to study law. From an education perspective, that took a lot of, of fortitude and drive to do that at that time. And after that, well, with that, my focus was on her education. The fact that anybody, if you dream it and you pursue it, you can achieve it. And she really sets that example from 1956. There is no reason our youth today cannot pursue and get that education. She said uh, about education, do not call for black power or green power. Call for brain power. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Um, our, our last thought on Barbara Jordan on our road to Stonewall is uh, we talked about this this afternoon at our host meeting. You'll notice that this is unique in our Road to Stonewall Gay Icon tribute that we're not talking a lot about gay. Barbara Jordan was interesting, coming to national prominence, especially in 1974, <coughs> and then really in 1976. She was a lesbian, but she never really came out publicly. She had a relationship for more than 20 years that was never really publicly revealed. We still celebrate her role in our road to Stonewall. That's right. That she was iconic for the gay community. Mm -hmm. She was a leader as a woman. She was leader as a black woman. She was a leader in the black community. And she was a leader as a lesbian in the gay community, even at the time, if we didn't know it. And that makes her celebrated for our road to Barbara Jordan.